Hello once again, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back here to the Rectory Chapel. Uh, we're making our way through the Gospel according to St. Matthew, uh, one of my favorite of the Gospels and books of sacred scripture. We're in chapter 8. Uh, this is a, a chapter filled with different healings. It starts out with the healing of a man suffering from leprosy, which he humbly says, Lord, if you wish to heal me, I know that you can do so. And Jesus does indeed wish for the man to be clean. Uh, then there's the cure of the centurion's servant, uh, and Jesus praises this Roman soldier and centurion as he said, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my servant shall be healed. We take that and incorporate that in the mass of my soul shall be healed right before we're preparing for Holy Communion. Uh, then there's the cure of St. Peter's mother-in-law. So according to tradition, he was married and either his wife died or he willingly came to an agreement with her to follow after Jesus completely, and maybe she did the same. Very interesting. Uh, various other healings that took place. There was the admonition of Jesus to those would-be followers um, with those who had other sort of priorities, and Jesus really placing the importance on following after him and living out a life of discipleship. Um, speaking of ships, Jesus was on a ship with his disciples in the Sea of Galilee. There was a terrible storm, and then Jesus rebuked the storm after waking up. Um, and the people, his disciples, were amazed at what had happened. Uh, then there's a healing of different people who are possessed by demons. So again, Jesus wanted to bring about healing, freedom, liberation for those who are suffering. It's the same for you and for me as well. May God bless you with healing, liberation, with strength, and perseverance. May God bless you now and always, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Take care. Have a great rest of the day.